Tansi Nisu Temtek, and welcome back to my channel. Preheat your ovens to 350 degrees, because we're making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies today. I like to start by getting all my ingredients out and ready to go. This way I know that I have everything I need to make my delicious cookies. Start with one cup of packed brown sugar. Really pack it in there to make sure you have enough sugar for this recipe. Add that to your mixing bowl, and then add half a cup of white sugar, and then we'll be adding one cup of butter. I used to make this recipe with margarine, so use whatever you have on hand and whatever works for you. Just don't use melted butter or oil, because that will make your cookies super hard. Once you have all of that in your mixing bowl, stir, stir, stir until it all looks like one ingredient, not three separate ones. It should look something like this when you're done. Next, we'll add a little splish splash sploosh of vanilla and two eggs. Yes, I crack my eggs by tapping them on each other. I don't know why, it is just how I do that. Uh, once those are in your bowl, mix those together again until it, you have a super loose dough and everything is really well mixed in. It's okay if it looks a little separated at this point, that'll all change when you add the flour. At this point we're adding one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. I never used to use the salt, but it really does make a difference, so go ahead and add it in there. Give those a little stir just to make sure they end up everywhere in your cookies. And then we'll start with two cups of white flour for this recipe. It usually needs more flour than that, but it's really hard to mix it in if you dump it all in there at once. So two cups of white flour and then one and a half cups of oats. I think these are just large flake oats, so use whatever you have on hand. And then two big handfuls of chocolate chips or more. Do whatever you want here, really. Uh, and then you stir it until you physically cannot stir it anymore. Unless you're stronger than me, and then you're looking for a stiff dough. This process can take a little while, and yes, you can definitely use an electric mixer for this, I just don't. I never have, and I have no clue why. So I had to add another half cup of flour to this batch just to get it as thick as I wanted it to be but you're looking for a really stiff cookie dough before you start scooping them out. So when your dough is all ready, grab a non-stick baking sheet and one of these fun little ice cream scoops. Scoop out one cookie, give it a little pat on the head so it bakes better, and put this one in the oven. This is the test cookie. This cookie lets me know if I need more flour in my dough or if I somehow forgot to add something else really important. This first cookie takes about seven minutes to bake, so set a timer and go find something to do in the meantime, like yoga. When your timer goes off, go check your cookie. This one is nicely baked, so we'll take it out and then put it on a cooling rack almost immediately. This helps it stop cooking anymore. When your first cookie comes out, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, consider adding more flour. Or if you're happy with how it looks and how it tastes, go ahead and scoop out a whole pan of them. Don't forget to smush down their tops so they bake more evenly. Uh, throw them in the oven, set your timer, and go do some yoga while you wait. This full rack can take a little bit longer to bake since there are more cookies on the rack. You'll know if they need more time because they'll come out looking a little bit wet on top. So throw them back in the oven, set a new timer for one to two minutes, or just do what I do and stare at the oven until they look done. Once they're no longer wet on top, take them out onto the cooling rack they go and do it all over again. Scoop, 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 pat, 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 do some yoga, and keep going until your bowl looks just like this, good and empty. This batch made about 43 cookies for me. I know, it's a really weird number. Don't forget to turn off your oven. Grab some cookies and some milk, and enjoy! Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video, and go follow me on Instagram at joe.does.life. I guess it pita!